Hello my beautiful diamonds. It's me, Nessa, and welcome to my makeup nook. And that is exactly what it is. It's a makeup nook that sits at the end of my hallway. You're gonna hear my little prince as he runs around up front. You're gonna hear my king in the man cave. And you're gonna hear my little fur baby, my fur little princess running around as well. Today I've created this look. And if you wanna see how I did it, you just sit right there and I'll show you exactly how it's done. All right, my beautiful darlings, let me tell you what I put on my face. So this morning, I just went in with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 201. Went in with my e.l.f. Hydro Concealer, 16 hour concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I set my concealer down with Fair Light setting powder. I set the rest of the face down with Halo Setting Powder from e.l.f. in the shade Light. Then I contoured with my Wet n Wild Contour Palette, the Mega Glow. I bronzed with my Rimmel Brick in Medium. Maxi Blush Sweet Cheeks, the blush. Benefit Dandelion Twinkle for highlighter. The brows were my instant lift brows from e.l.f. Here's my Fenty eye primer for my eyes. So then let's zoom you in and we'll get started on the fun stuff. All right, before we get too far carried away, we're gonna pull back our bangs. Show off my much forehead. Blessed to me by my father. <laughs> to create the eye look that I did today, I used the one and only wine only palettes. Still got my plastic my and then I went in with the Super Shock shadow in the shade Muse. Started with Muse. Okay. I took M408, which is the smudgy brush I like to smudge under my eyes. And I tapped into it and I went from my eye from the under eye up to just above my crease and over. So I went like this. Oh, just like this. Just kind of drew out a line. How far out I wanted to go. And then I brought it back in this way. Kind of narrowed it in. And then I just drew that line all the way over my eye. Okay. And that's how I did that. Okay. I know it looks weird. But we're going to fix it. I'm going to do the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay. Just like that. Like I said, I know it looks wonky, but it's all going to make sense. So then I went into the darkest shade in the palette. This one. Okay. And I took it. I am 503. Just like that. And then I tapped it out here into that little spot we just created with that super shock shadow and I brought it over my eye just like that okay Gonna do the other side, just like that. I'll be right back. Okay. Just like that. Then I went to the shade up in a corner, this one. And I blended that dark, deep burgundy out just a little bit. Just kind of buffed up the edges. So I just went and I just did this. Okay, and I just softened it up. Kind of went back and I went over this a little bit with it. Just kind of blended it nice, nice and smooth. Alright. Just like that. Nothing crazy. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back. Crazy, huh? 
Then I went in with the coppery gold color and I popped it in the corner of my eye and I drug it over that lightest shade we just set down. Just like that. I'm gonna do that on the other side real quick. And I won't <laughs> pop off while we're sitting past this, so we'll just pop it, it shouldn't take long. So just pop it in there and drag it across that look. Okay. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Could just leave it at that. It's you know, kind of got all the harsh edges, but I take it a little a little further, I'll take it up under my eyes, and I'll drag the start color out under my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to color switch my 408 that I absolutely love to do that with. And I'm going to pop that color up under my eye. Just okay. I'm going to pop off. I'm going to do that on the other side. I'll be right back. Let me think. Not bad, huh? All right. So before we jump any further we're going to go back into that little coppery color we put over the shot top and we're going to top it right down in here in my inner corner just like that same thing other side okay kind of drags it into that interior of that eye and I am going to blend a little bit more over the um over the look going to go back in with my 503 okay and I'm going to fast forward this I'm just going to soften over this this dark edges with it with this lightest color that we have here I'm going to soften up my my edges so watch really fast ready just softened up that look a little bit onto the top, blended the bottom out, and we just made it a little bit more cohesive. So we're, and we're going to work on the actual lashes. Going with my manageable torture device. And wait for it. Siete London Triple Triple Shot XXX Mascara. Okay. And we're just gonna go. Ooh. Alright. Okay, now for the under eye liner in Espresso, and I'm going to do my into my waterline. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to pop off of here, and I'll be right back with them done. So there you go, my darling. Stop right there. Throw a lip up. Would be beautiful just like that. But you know me. I love my lashes. Love, love, love lashes. So I got these from Amazon. Okay, and this set came with them. This one here. Let me tap those up there. The ones down here on the bottoms are the ones that I was wearing today. So I'm going to I'm going to grab my Glammatic mascara, and I'm going to run the mascara on my as a liner, and I'm going to pop those little guys up on my little lash. So I will do the first one with you. And then the second one, I'll pop off, and I'll come back with them both done. So you're just going to take this little guy, like you've seen me done a bazillion times, and you're going to up, you're going to crawl up on your mirror, which is right here, sitting right down in front of me, and I'm going to put a liner on, like you've done a bazillion times. So we're just going to go right above that lash. You're going to take it all the way out the corner, okay, just like that. I'm going to close it back up, and I'm going to grab the wall of wonders. Just get a little bit dry. If you were going to go to work and spend eight or nine hours with it, I would definitely apply two coats. But with you and me, we're just going to let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
same way you do regular lashes. You want to pull your mirror up right up under your nose like this, the same way. And you're going to look down onto your mirror and you're going to place it right there on that magnetic strip. Ready? One, two, three. Tuck, tuck, problem solved. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. Here you go, my darlings. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Lashes can't get any more simpler than that. Magnetic liner and magnetic lashes. Simply beautiful. Almost game changing. Almost. All right, today for my lip, I used my Superstay Matte by Maybelline in the shade 120. And I did that on my lips today. Wait. Come to find out that this one is notorious for being on my teeth all the time. When that dried down, I put on my Iconic London lip gloss just over the top of it. So we might get to that point, but we don't know yet. So we're going to take down the ears and make it all make sense. Ready? Fluff the bangs. Fluff, 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 fluff. So there you go, my darlings. See? My darlings. Just like that. One easy, simple look using the wine only palette from ColourPop. If you don't own any ColourPop, any of their palettes. They're really, really affordable. It's a really good brand. It's a great blending, great, great pigment, great, great, great. I have nothing bad to say about ColourPop. And I only own two of their palettes, but I am in love with both of them. <laughs> so I totally recommend you buying some. If by chance you have made it this far into the video, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're here. Let me know you made it this far. Send me an emoji. Tell me hi. Got any questions? Go ahead and ask. Just talk to me, my beautiful darlings. Just talk to you. Please leave me a thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing okay and that this is good content and all that great stuff. And while you're down there pushing those buttons, how about you shoot me a subscribe as well and slide on over there and hit that bell button. And that way you can get notified of all my uploads. I try to upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, once again, this beautiful look from the Wine Only palette from ColourPop. Beautiful. Anyway, just like that, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will see you very, very, very soon. I promise, my darlings. Much love. Much love.